What do you get if you cross an anti-slavery campaigner with a mathematician? A potter. I don't get it. Neither did William's father. How could two such forthright parents give birth to? An artist? Seriously? What they didn't know was that William de Morgan would go on to be world famous. The most innovative designer of the arts and crafts movement. The leading authority of the alchemy of glaze, great ocean liners swooshing his work all over the world. And the Tsar of Russia on speed dial had phones been available. William was the prodigal son, a head full of his mother's ambition and the warmth, wit and logical bit of his dad's big old heart. Whatever William touched came to life. Glass, paper, stone, colour. He could pull beauty from thin air and bottle it. And where there was no air at all, summer happened. In the kiln, his work become incandescent. My God, I think I'm onto summer. I can make things glow. William was so fired up by his invention that he started to experiment. With no space to throw a pot, he played around with tiles and saucers. Firing them up in the fireplace, it exploded, blowing up the house. Whoops! But it didn't stop him. He tried and failed and tried again. Until one day, he triumphed. Creating a glaze that was so refined it looked like moonlight. William married Evelyn. A woman so bright she could light up a room. For years and years and years and years they basked in the limelight. Till the next best thing came along. Then the roaring fires of the roaring twenties faded to embers. Then ash. William was distraught. As broken as crock. Then Evelyn had an idea. Pick up a pen. Slowly, gradually, Will rose like a phoenix. And would you believe it? Novel was a global sensation. Then out popped six more. ka -ching. William was always a sociable man. One day it received a visitor. The friend came and left, but left behind a fever. And the fever left its mark. William de Morgan died much loved. A remarkable man who lives on through his work. The charm, the wit and talent, as fresh as the day it was born. And from a certain angle, you can still see moonlight.